as far as defining things, so photobiomodulation, right? You know, light using light to to modulate biology, mm -hmm. so to right. speak. But you've got to get the light at the right wavelength, at the right frequency to to, to stimulate you know, the production of, uh, you know, ATP through the mitochondrial thing. We don't have to go into, into all the science. The first thing is to understand that to have a, a biological effect on a cell, you have to deliver enough energy to that cell, you know, 0.5 to, to uh, 15 joules per centimeter squared. That amount of energy has to reach the cell. If the, the cell is, you know, in, in the middle of the brain, you've got to get through centimeters of brain and you've got to get through the scalp and the skull. So you, you have to start with a whole lot more energy because the scalp absorbs about 60% um, of the energy, the skull absorbs about 40% of the energy. If you have hair, you're, <laughs> you're lucky. Um, I'm, a, I'm the perfect person <laughs> to have the, the, the Hair blocks 98% of the yeah. energy. Yeah. So uh, in, in treating our patients, um, you know, we have to be able to deliver energy of sufficient power at the skin surface that it gets through all those layers with enough energy to activate the cell.